To solve this polynomial equation, let's first start by simplifying it, because each of our coefficients and our constant c all have a common factor that we can factor out. And that common factor is 3. So if we divided every term in the equation, including this 0, by 3, we would then have 3 divided by 3 would give us 1x squared plus 6 divided by 3 would give us 2x. Then 3 divided by 3 would give us plus 1. And 0 divided by 3 would give us 0. And now I'll just rewrite this one more time. So it's x squared plus 2x plus 1 because we don't really need this one coefficient. If it exists in math, there's always one of them. And now we can start to solve. We need to find uh, two factors that could multiply together to give us 1, but add together to give us our b term of 2. So if we're looking for something to add to give us 2, and multiply to give us 1, and 1 is a prime number. So the only thing that could give us 1, the only factor pair, is 1 times 1. So that makes our life a little easier, because we are just going to have an equation that looks like this, or a binomial pair that looks like this. x plus 1 times x plus 1. If we were to multiply that out, we'd have front in our FOIL method. x times x would give us x squared. Outer would give us 1x inner would give us 1x, and last would give us plus 1. When we add these two 1x's together, we'll have x squared plus 2x plus 1, which does match our original equation. So now we need to just go back and set both of these equal to 0 and solve. Since they are identical to one another, they're not going to produce different results, so we can just solve one of them. x plus 1 equals 0. 1 is being multiplied, or excuse me, is being added to x, so the opposite operation is to subtract 1 from both sides. These will cancel, leaving us with x is equal to negative 1, making answer choice B our correct answer.